everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Optifine in Minecraft 1.16.1 We're going to be going over every single step of getting Optifine from downloading it to installing it To even working through some of the potential issues that you might have when installing Optifine It is all going to be covered in this video First and foremost though we have a message from our sponsor which is Apex Minecraft Host And go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex To start your very own Minecraft server for you and your friends in under five minutes it's super simple and it's super easy it's a one-click setup to get mods plugins or just run a vanilla minecraft server on top of that we love apex so much that we host our own server played our breakdowncraft.com on them so we put our money matter mouth is there and host our own server on apex so you can do it as well in confidence so go check out apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to get an incredible 24-hour minecraft server for you and your friends nevertheless let's go ahead and get optifine installed because that's why we're here after all optifine allows so much not only does it allow minecraft to run easy Easier and with less lag it also allows you to run things like shaders we'll have a video coming up a little later literally if you're watching this most likely that shaders video is already up as well that will show you how to get shaders in this though we're gonna be showing you how to get optifine we also have another video coming up that's gonna show you how to set up optifine for performance so whether you want to like add in shaders and make optifine look beautiful or whether you want to like reduce lag with optifine we are going to have videos covering it all but let's go ahead and get optifine what we want to do is go to this link this is the second link down below the breakdown.xyz slash optifine it's gonna take you here Right, so it's going to take you here, and obviously this tutorial right here will be our 116 tutorial that you're watching right now. But nevertheless, once you're here, the video you're watching will be right here. Scroll down until you see this green download Optifine button. Go ahead and click on that, and it will take us off to the Optifine download page. Now you might be screaming at me, Nick, I don't see Minecraft 1.16.1. You're a liar. I'm unsubbing. I'm out. Bye. No, don't do that. Don't do that because I'm not a liar. What you need to do is click on preview versions here, right? Now, for most people they're not gonna have to do that right unless it's like 1.15 and it was forever until we got a release version and it's actually still don't have one but for some people it is going to say minecraft 1.16.1 here or it's gonna say it down towards the bottom depending on what version we're on but nevertheless if you have minecraft 1.16.1 available here come under this and then click on the mirror button if you don't though click on preview versions so most people watching this video especially when it first come out are gonna click on preview versions here and then when you do that, you'll see Optifine 1.16.1. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for Optifine 1.16.1. So we want to come to Optifine 1.16.1 here, come over and click on the mirror button, right? So next to Optifine 1.16.1, we want to click on the mirror button there. That will then go ahead and take us off to this, where we have this blue download preview Optifine 1.16.1. Now, if you didn't have preview and you could download it directly from, you know, like where it said Minecraft and it was there, it wouldn't have preview. It would just say download Optifine 1.16.1, but we just want to click on that where it says Optifine right there. Then in the bottom left, the download will begin. Now, it might redirect on page or whatever, but in the bottom, your download will be unaffected, right? Well, what it should say is say preview underscore Optifine or just Optifine. As long as there's Optifine in the title, you are safe to keep the file. Now, on Mozilla Firefox, it'll pop in the center of your screen. You need to save the file. As long as it's got Optifine in the title, you are safe to save it. Now, again, I want to go over that one more time. If it says Minecraft 1.16.1 here, or even if it's down this page a little bit, that is where you want to download it from. Just come under the first one here and then click on Mirror, right? Or come under the one under 1.16.1 and click on Mirror. Otherwise, you want to click on Preview Versions and then click on Mirror next to this Optifine 1.16.1 version to be taken to here where you'll click on this download link, right? That's how you do that. Then keep and save the file and you'll be good to go. Now, if we minimize our browser, here on our desktop, we have the Optifine download. We also have this. That's going to disappear in a second, so I'll just drag it to the side. But we have this Optifine preview, or if you were able to download the release version, it'll say Optifine. Now, if this isn't available, right, if this isn't there right away, what you need to do is click on the little Windows icon on the top left of my screen. It's probably going to be in the bottom left of your screen, but that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen, click on that, and then type in Downloads. Then have this Downloads file folder here. Click on that, and in here you will find... If I move to the center of the screen, in here you will find Optifine and drag that to your desktop. So if Optifine's in here, just take and drag and drop it to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and get Optifine installed. Now to do that, you should be able to right click on Optifine, click on Open With, and click on Java. But if that 
isn't possible for you if you don't have Java here. It might not be Java platform AC binary. It might just say Java. If you do have that, click that and click OK. If you don't, or if this doesn't look correct here, if this doesn't look like a coffee cup, right? It doesn't look like a Java logo like this. Like that's what that is. It's a coffee cup. If it doesn't look like that, then what do you do? Well, we have a solution for you. The first thing you need to do is go to the description down below and download and install Java for Minecraft mods. So this is the official version of Java that basically works well with Minecraft. You're going to download it from Java's website, get it installed, and then you'll be able to install Optifine most of the time. Okay, it's a very simple three-step process. The link is in the description down below and it'll show you everything. But sometimes you'll install Java and you still won't be able to open up Optifine. And the reason for that is usually because it's not a Java file. It looks like it's a WinRAR file or it's something else. And if that's the case, you need to run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take that .jar file and link it to Java again, right? So where it might not be linked to Java previously, it's going to link it to Java again and make it look like that Java icon. To come here, basically install Java, then run the jar fix, and then finally you'll be able to right click on Optifine, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up the Optifine installer. From here it's pretty simple. Just go ahead and click on the Install button here, and it's going to automatically install Optifine. Now there's only one reason that this will fail. As you can see, it succeeded. Optifine is successfully installed, we're good. The only reason this would fail is if you haven't played Minecraft 1.16.1 before. If that's the case, go play it. Go launch it in vanilla Minecraft, just with no mods, no anything, just play latest release 1.16.1 and then come back and you'll be able to install Optifine. That's the only reason that it won't install. We've helped millions of people get Optifine and that's the only time I've ever seen issues happen. That and Java. So both of those are now solved. So go ahead and click OK. Once it says Optifine is successfully installed, it'll automatically close out of that and you can delete this Optifine file from your desktop if you want. Now we can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, right like so. Now in the bottom left here in the Minecraft launcher, you should have Optifine. If it doesn't say Optifine there right away, don't freak out. Click on the little arrow here, this little drop down arrow, and then find the Optifine profile in here. Now last but not least, if you do have Optifine, it doesn't say 1.16.1 there, or if you don't have Optifine at all, right? So if the Optifine profile doesn't say 1.16.1 at the beginning, or if you don't have the Optifine profile at all, what do you do? Well, we're gonna show you. We're gonna go up here to the Installations tab, right? And again, this is only if you don't have this Optifine profile. I'm just showing you how to do it. I have the Optifine profile, but I'm still showing you how to do it in case you don't. Uh, but nevertheless, go up here to the Installations tab, click on the plus new button here. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft server. We have grief protected survival in 1.16.1. We have medieval survival with a awesome player-based economy and 30 custom quests. We've also got aquatic survival with a slash shop-based economy. It's absolutely incredible. And then we do have custom skyblock with OP enchantments, fence generators, and just a ton of fun. You will love our skyblock server. And then we also have factions. Yes, we even have factions. Season 2 of factions just released. So if you want to get the head start, go play Season 2 of Breakdown Craft Factions. It's absolutely incredible. We've got custom enchantments, small team factions, limiting just 10 people to a faction. F-top. It's amazing. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the the IP. You will love it. But nevertheless, after you've got your name there, you want to click on this version drop-down box, right? So click on this version drop-down box, and then you want to find release 1.16.1-optifine. So there it is, release 1.16.1-optifine. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the resolution here. You don't have to do this, but I'm just doing it because we're making a video here, and we want it to be 1080p resolution when we play because it's easier for the video. So anyway, what you really have to change here is this version to 1.16.1-optifine. You might need to scroll down to find this. For me, though, it was right up here at the top then go ahead and click create in the bottom right now you have this new profile at the bottom in our case named play.breakdowncraft.com it says 1.16.1-optifine under it so we can go ahead and click the green play button now optifine is going to open up it's that simple you have now installed optifine in minecraft 1.16.1 the hard part is where you just kind of have to wait to open up. Now, i will say this point that if preview is where you have from back to the beginning right if you had to click the preview versions button Get Optifine. Then you may experience bugs, right? If you had to download the preview version of Optifine, you're going to experience some bugs most likely because it's a preview version, right? At the time I'm recording this, Forge isn't even compatible with Optifine. There's still issues. There's still bugs all over the place. There's all sorts of shaders, bugs. 
and things of that nature because Optifine is only 55% complete at this point, right? But if we do go into options here and go into video settings, we will see all the different Optifine settings here. We'll be able to see the quality settings, for example, the performance settings, all the different things that Optifine does have. And it's relatively up to date, all things considered, but it is still one of those things that if you have any issues, it's most likely due to Optifine being in a preview version. Once it comes out to the release version, we'll be good. We can also see in the bottom left here, Optifine HD G2 underscore pre2. Basically, if it has a pre version there, there is going to be some, you know, bugs and things of that nature. We can click on shaders here and we'll see that shaders is in fact here. You can click on the internal shaders for testing. That's just basically making sure shaders in, like installs. That's kind of all it is. That shaders in fact can load. That's not going to do much of anything else. But nevertheless, shaders is there and they are working currently. Again, though, some shaders might have different issues where there's some black boxing and things like that where this you know entire sky will be black or you know different sort of things will be blacked out. It's completely in beta. So be ready for that. Be ready for those bugs if you're downloading this right as it came out. However, if you were able to download a release version, meaning you didn't have to click on preview versions to download Optifine, you are good to go. But nevertheless, that is how you can get Optifine in Minecraft 1.16.1. As you can see here, there's play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Come play this game. Custom Skyblock, custom factions, incredible grief protected survival. You will love it. 155 people online on a random Monday. So come play this. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. Thank you all so, so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs if it helped you out, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.